If your baby is born early, breast milk can provide the best possible start in life. If he's not able to feed at the breast in his first weeks of life, you can express milk for him to have until he's ready to start breastfeeding. In this film, we'll meet four mothers and learn from their journeys as they learn to feed and get to know their preterm babies. Nicola was just 24 weeks into her pregnancy when her twin baby boys were born. I'm quite in shock. We wasn't, we wasn't expecting them to be um, that early. It all happened very quickly. It was um, about six hours from the moment we realised something was going wrong to when they arrived, so uh, very quick <laughs> entrance. In their first weeks, babies who were born very early may need help breathing and have to be fed by intravenous drip. But as they progress, they will begin to take milk feeds, usually given by tube through the baby's mouth or nose. Breast milk is best, for many reasons. Preterm babies are especially vulnerable to illness and infection, and in particular, a serious gut infection, which can be fatal. Breast milk, unlike formula milk, contains protection against serious infections, and it has other important benefits. It's rich in special ingredients to help your baby grow and is easier for your baby's gut to absorb. Even if your baby isn't able to take breast milk straight away, it's important to start expressing your breast milk as early as you can, as it can be stored for your baby and will help your body build up a good supply. Immediately, um on the day they were born, um, I was spoken to um, by the nurses on the intensive care unit um, saying about expressing milk and saying how important it is. And I started straight away. It can be easiest and most effective to start with expressing by hand. Your midwife or neonatal nurse will show you how to do it. And you may find it helpful to watch the short film on expressing on this DVD. You may not be able to express a lot of milk straight away. In the first few days, your breasts will produce small amounts of colostrum, the unique first milk your body makes for your baby's first feeds. As you express, your milk will come in and your supply will increase if you express frequently. It's not masses to start off with, but then the babies don't need masses at all to start off with, and it's, um, the nurses here call it gold. Um, this is the stuff that comes, first of all. But, you know, even tiny drops are essential. The amount you produce will increase gradually over the first few days and then continues to increase as your mature milk comes in. On, on about the fourth day for me, I think my milk came in and um, from that point onwards it's just increased um, steadily. It's recommended that you express eight to ten times a day, including at least once during the night, to establish a good milk supply for your baby. Some neonatal units use milk banks to help ensure preterm infants are always able to receive breast milk when they need it most. Milk banks provide tested and heat-treated breast milk from carefully screened donors. The donor breast milk can be added to a mother's own milk if she isn't producing enough yet or if she's too ill to express it. The donor milk is used until the mother is able to provide her own milk. Most preterm mothers use an electric breast pump although starting off by hand expressing is still a good way to stimulate the flow of milk. You can pump from one breast at a time or both together. Double pumping can save you time and there is evidence that it may be more effective. You might find that it helps the milk to flow if you express near your baby. There should be a place you can express in private at the hospital. Ask your midwife or neonatal nurse for support. The whole setup is very relaxed and there's a, there's a private room to do it in. Um, and you know, radio magazines, those kind of things. So it's all, all very relaxed setup, and, and it's so incredibly um, natural. Everyone is doing it in the in the units, or if they can, they're doing it. So um, it's it's geared to help you um, express. By expressing breast milk during this important time, you can help care for your baby and give him the best start in life. Expressing is one of the things that you actually can do. 
Um, there's a lot of the time everything's taken out of your hands, but there's one thing that actually only you can do. So um, it was, made, me, made me feel like I was contributing a bit more. Um, what I'm doing now, this is my, my breast milk, which I've expressed. Um, and he's having it through a tube. He has um, 10 mils. Once your baby is able to leave the incubator for a while, both of you can enjoy the many benefits of skin-to-skin -skin contact. You may hear this called kangaroo care. Skin-to-skin -skin can help regulate your baby's temperature and heart rate, and it's also a great way for you to get to know each other better. It feels lovely having him on me like this. Um, I just feel so close with them, and he likes it. It's, I hear my heartbeat and just comforts them. I could stay like this all day. Amazing, isn't it, how peaceful they are. Having your baby on your chest is also a good preparation for breastfeeding. Your baby will get used to the feel and smell of the breast, and you may start to recognise feeding cues that he's ready to start breastfeeding. To begin with, breastfeeding is tiring for preterm babies. The switch from tube feeding to feeding directly at the breast will happen over time, and gradually they will begin to take more from the breast and less from the tube. Preterm twins, Grace and James, have just begun to feed at the breast. They got moved out of the incubators, which was great. They're in these cots now, and you can lift them, and then gradually, um, was putting them to the breast and seeing if they would take a, like even a small feed. What I'm going to get you to do is just with this hand, if you mm -hmm. can, is just pop that finger instead of on his head, just and behind his ear, and just let him almost like a shelf. Mm -hmm. You feel as though you're holding yep. him in a shelf, mm -hmm. and just. Wait. Babies who are born early often need more time and support to help them attach well at the breast and feed effectively. Grace is already feeding well at the breast, but James is struggling. So Shirley's getting some support from a breastfeeding specialist. That's great. Good boy. Excellent. He hasn't managed to quite bring his tongue down, so just bring him back. Let him have a go again. He'll take a few wee goes to have a go. Excellent. Well done, James. It's important to get as much help as you need to ensure that you and your baby get breastfeeding off to a good start. That's a great feeling to know that you're actually, you're, you're now feeding them and, and not having to, to tube feed them um, and, and know that, that, that you're nourishing your own babies. Yesterday was their first full day and night of taking their own feeds and they've done okay. They're, they're a bit tired but they're doing all right so. And then hopefully they'll get home and that'll be them. Rebecca has recently brought her preterm baby son, Theo, home from hospital, and he's now feeding well at the breast. As with babies who are born at full term, it's best to feed your baby as often and as long as he needs. As you get to know each other, you'll learn to recognise and respond to your baby's feeding cues. Oh, when he was in hospital, he needed to be fed initially every one hour through the tube, and then every two hours, and then every three hours. Um, but it was quite a lot of volume, and it went, when it comes to him suckling, he can't usually suckle quite as much. So at the moment, he, I feed on demand since I got home, and it's only anything like. And in the evenings, he want, often wants to feed more, so he'll feed might feed every two hours. In the night, sometimes it's a, there's a five hour gap, and in the day, it's more like every three to four hours. But he'll wake up and he'll demand it, and uh, and usually fall asleep when he's full. Now that she's home with baby Theo, Rebecca is enjoying a special bond through breastfeeding. But I think particularly for mums with a preterm baby where baby's not with you all the time, breastfeeding becomes even more important because it allows you to have that intimacy or to, re, to catch up with that intimacy when you get home. Best Beginnings have also made a DVD called Small Wonders, designed to help parents of premature and sick babies play a key role in their baby's care. It includes films on expressing, holding your baby, and transition to independent feeding. Visit the Best Beginnings website for more details. <laughs>